hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will talk about the qualify and unqualify statement so qualify and unqualify statement are very helpful when we are doing the scripting so what they basically mean is that uh, when we are joining two tables so for example over here we have the orders table and uh, we have this another table which we are concatenating so let's say if uh, if there is nothing which is present over here as a concatenate or anything and uh, let's say i remove this so what by default click sense does is uh, it looks up each and every column and uh, if they are same so for example row id row id is same order id order id is same order date order date is same so whenever it finds the column which is having the same name it will do a join and it will create a synthetic key so synthetic key is basically a kind of a feature within click sans which we would not really like to have in most of the scenario in some scenario it is it is just okay because you cannot avoid that but in most of the scenario you would not like to have synthetic key because it does the cross join and produce the duplicate data so so this is like one of the technique which gets uh, or one of the questions which gets asked in the interview that uh, what would you do to remove the synthetic key well one of the way is uh, concatenate which i which i was just having as a keyword over here because what it does is it just concatenate or append the second table below to the first table and another way is uh, using the um, qualify keyword <clears throat> excuse me so qualify keyword over here right now by default you have unqualify so if you use the qualify keyword qualify star what it indicates it uh, it will take the table name which is this have a dot uh, in between of each and every field name so order dot row id order dot uh, order id order dot order table date and similarly if we are not providing any name to the table what it does is it picks up the sheet name over here and uh, then produce the same field name so 2009 order dollar dot row id dot uh, order id dot order date so what is the output of that the output of that will be the removal of any join between these two tables because first table is having the prefix as order and uh, second table uh, is having the prefix as 2009 order for each field now the field name is completely different then you cannot produce a join but what if if you want to produce a join on let's say order id right and uh, would like to say that i would just want order id i don't want anything else to be connected so what you can do is instead of uh, qualify star you can say order id sorry about that oops what i'm doing order id and just have it like this i think this should suffice the need right so what it will do is uh, it will qualify uh, only the order id that means the orders my apologies i said it opposite so what i meant was uh, it will only produce the connection between the fields uh, or the suffix for those fields which are coming over here as order id so what that mean is that you will have orders dot order id over here and uh, order 2009 order dot order id over here so this will not produce a join but on on but on the rest of the columns but that's not what we want so what we will do is um, i will put qualify star and i will down there say unqualify order id right so what it will be doing now is uh, it will it will produce this orders dot row id orders dot order date orders dot order priority for each of the column and uh, similarly over here 
but it will unqualify order ID to make a connection. So this way you will have the connection only on that field on which you want the connection. Earlier I was saying it opposite so please disregard that. So this way we will be creating a connection only on the order ID. So I will save it and load it so that you can see it in action. And here we have lo loaded it. So zero forced error, zero synthetic key. We are closing it. And if I go in the data model viewer, I should be able to see it. So it is appearing over here. Now you can see the desired outcome, what we wanted. And I hope in explanation, uh, you are able to see it now properly. What I meant is the prefix. So 2009 order ID dot row ID 2009 order dot order date. So this is because of we have used the qualify keyword. We have qualified each and every field, but we have unqualified order ID. That's why there is no prefix of the table name to each to that field. And that's why we are able to make the connection. So if that is what your need is that on a particular field or two or three different fields you want, then you can unqualify it by going into the data load editor like I have done it over here in this section which is saying that hey go ahead qualify this field but unqualify order ID if I want any other ID any other field um, let's say um, order date maybe order date then those two fields will be unqualified and will be available for making the connection. So that's pretty much it I have for you in this video. I hope uh, this will help you when you are doing the data modeling and data scripting uh, within the ClickSense to avoid the scenarios like synthetic key or uh, forceful join which ClickSense produces. So that's pretty much it and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.